upgrade yourself. You have to motivate yourself by taking on a new challenge. And the boxing world is exactly that for Jeremy Stevens. Guys, we're tuning into the fight live, man. It's gonna be a good one. I'm excited. I'm getting major faded. Yo, what is good, guys? Mario Shea coming at you guys with another banger. Let me just turn off that AC real quick because I don't want you guys to be annoyed by the fucking sound of this shit. We're doing a little hot box. Conveniently, the AC's off, so it's gonna be hot in here. Um, it's super exciting net night, man. If you guys haven't been, you know, tapping in with the fighting scene, there's a really big fight happening right now between a famous YouTube boxer. You guys probably know him, Jake Paul. And then we got infamous UFC fighter Nate Diaz, and they're going square up tonight in like an hour type shit. They're boxing, and uh, you know we're gonna see what the outcome is, and uh, we're gonna smoke some good shit, some good weed, get high, smoke a blunt. Actually, no, none of that um, green lettuce. It's uh, all tobacco, guys. Obviously, we're uh, cigar connoisseurs. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you guys what we got today. Got a bunch of shit from the shop. I'm not even gonna cap. We went kind of off. To start with, we got some uh, sage and sour rolls, sticks, you know what I'm saying, like fire sticks. So we got some sage and sour. We got some queen sang, which is some aquaponics. The water is from a koi fish pond. Blue. This stuff tastes stellar. The fucking high is amazing, man. It's one of my favorite shits as of recent. And then I decided to go ahead and pick up this uh, frozen lemon strain. Holy it. The terps on it, it's insane, and the shit's testing really high. And uh, something I wanted to showcase for you guys and myself today, my first time ever smoking it, we're gonna hotbox a chamomile tea wrap blunt. Let me go ahead and show you guys what that's looking like. So this is a package right over here. Straight from Canada, by the way, if you guys uh, don't know. I am from Canada, living in Toronto. All right. It smells like mint chocolate chip, it's insane. So uh, this is the blunt, you know what I'm saying? Little uh, tobacco wrap. But uh, yeah, this is made out of a camel mild tea. And this is what this looks like. Here in Canada, we can't have any tobacco products when it comes to uh, just wraps. So you literally have to buy it backwards to get a tobacco wrap. You can't buy it by itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, just get into it. Spark it up, guys. Let's see how it's going. Man, if you guys are session at home right now, get your shit ready. Take Blue. that hit, man. Let's get lit. Let's light it up together, you Blue. feel me? Shea family, bro. Let's do this. If you guys aren't subscribed as of yet, subscribe down below. Follow me on my socials at the top. Let's do this shit, guys. Cheers, man. I love you guys. Get that shit piping. God, it's getting hot in here. But yeah, guys, I just worked a pretty long shift today, like 12-hour shift type shit at the shop. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to come home, get the fight on. Get a nice little session with you guys, a little catch up. I know it's been a minute, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I've been grinding, I'm not gonna lie. I've been kind of making moves and things are happening behind the scenes that I can't tell you guys about as of yet. But holy shit, I'm excited. Hopefully things happen. And you know, that's that's what's up for real, for real. Like I'm not on some like, oh, I'm not uploading because I'm just not doing it because I'm lazy. It's really just like, I've been, I've been trying to make some moves, you know, trying to make some career moves type shit. Also, um, I have a couple videos that are kind of all filmed and ready to go. Just gotta do a little edit. And I'm super excited to drop that. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna freak when you see the kind of shit that I was doing, man. I was getting faded in golfing. I was doing all types of shit, man. I've, I've had such a fucking awesome last two weeks, spending time with the loved ones, you feel me? That's some real shit right there for you guys. Oh, I hate when that happens. Looks like we got it lit though, hold on. Oh, Scooby Snacks. There you go, guys. Cheers. I can kind of taste the tea wrap in it, I feel like. Hold on, let me give it more time before I really comment on it like that. Wow, this cigarette is very good. So I'm, uh, this strain, I'm like, what am I even saying, bro? I'm not gonna lie. I had a bit of that sage and sour beforehand. Got me a little twisted. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, the strain in this, uh, cigarette is Slurricane Mint. It's, uh, growers up here in Quebec, actually. Phenomenal. I 
has like this chocolatey musk to it. This thing's burning slow, I can't lie, guys. Like, look at that. How's it looking, man, on your side? Is that shit bussin' or bussin'? Guys, with me right now, let's do like five kush-ups. Basically, if you don't know what a kush-up is, I don't know how the fuck you're even on this channel if you don't know what a kush-up is, but if you don't know what that is, it's like, toke, keep it down, toke, keep it down without exhaling five times. Five hits, no exhale. Let's do it, guys. Shay, Shay. You guys see that? Yo, the ash is looking decent. It's not like super white, salty, but it's a nice gray. It's a nice gray tint. I'll give it a pass. This was a cigar costed me 13 bucks. One G, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't ever watched like a UFC or boxing fight like live like not even not even capping guys like real shit like this is gonna be my first fight and I'm gonna be watching live bro on my laptop um, the last time I tried to watch a live like UFC or boxing match it was a boxing match it was the uh, Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao match and bro that story is crazy as a matter of fact we'll just dive into it might as well so basically you know this fight's coming up and uh my boys and I are like, bro, this is gonna be a great opportunity. We'll all reach your place. His parents weren't home. You know, they're out of, out of the country visiting other family. He had the place to himself. He had like this condo type shit uh, in Toronto. And we're like, yeah, we'll invite the homie, our buddy, uh, we'll call him Greg. We invited Greg over, so it was me, my buddy, call him Alex and Greg. And uh, our plan was let's invite some girls over. And we got this fight on pay-per-view. We're gonna get some drinks going. Um, this is kind of actually our first time too, really drinking. <laughs> So many firsts, bro. I can't. What the fuck? So, uh, we're like, okay, we want the girls to come over. We gotta get some drinks, you know what I mean? Like, that's what you do. Put the fight on, got some drinks, got the ladies. Just see if it's a vibe. See if there's some magic. <coughs> so, type shit. I was gonna put this incense out. Holy shit. There's like way too much smoke happening. So, type shit. We gotta get the drink, so I hit up my boy, because at the time I was low-key like, I was not, I was not 19. You gotta be 19 to drink, I was like 18. So, I got my boy to buy like, we're like, I don't know, we're gonna host a like, gathering, me, two of my buddies, and then like three chicks maybe, maybe four chicks. Like, we're gonna eat like two bottles of vodka. So we get like two bottles, like I'm like, okay, give, give us two bottles. So fast forward, you know, we get to the place, we got the bottles ready, the thing on the, the table for beer pong and shit in the middle, bro. Like we got the whole vibe set up, the music and shit. So we got the music, everything. And guess what happens? The females don't show up. So it becomes a drink fest. We'd be drinking our sorrows away. So it started like this. Like we didn't really know how to drink. We're like, we've never done this before. So we got the Smirnoff vodka. Like this is like the kind of vodka that's just cheap. You just buy it, you, sh you know, you mix it mainly. You could take shots, but it's foul. It's just like rubbing alcohol, like syringing your fucking throat all the way down to your stomach, mucus lining. Like this is not the kind of shit you want to consume. Your liver is going to hate you for it. But we bought two big bottles anyway, cause fuck it, we're D-Gens. And I pour like, you know, like a red Solo cup, regular size. We pour half that bitch full. Dead ass, like halfway here, just vodka, no chase, no mixer. We're like, you just buy alcohol and drink it, right? We don't understand, like, we've never been to a bar, got in a mixed drink. I know, it sounds like we're lame as fuck, like we've never been to a party, but real shit, it kind of feels like that. Um, prior to that age of 18. So type shit, I'm just drinking this thing, you know, remotely quickly, you know, I'm just like sip, ugh, sip, ugh. But then, you know, as you get more drunk and more waved and your throat kind of gets more accustomed to this rubbing alcohol, it's kind of like, oh, okay, whatever, I'm so fucked, I can't even 
feel how gross it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, guys, we need to relight this shit. Please, I just need you to work one time. So I started drinking like half the cup. My buddy's drinking like half the cup too, I'm beside him. We pour another cup and by then, all I see to my left is my buddy does this. Ugh. And just like a little bit of vomit comes and drips on the floor and he's like, Ugh. he's like, I'm like, are you good, bro? Like, holy shit, he's like, He's like, no, I'm good, bro. And he just takes another sip. And I'm just like, by this point, I'm like, bro, we're down bad. The fight hasn't even started. The girls haven't showed up. We're just getting stupid drunk. Our friend is not even drinking. He's kind of acting as like the DD, just watching us get stupid sloshed by ourselves, waiting for this fight to happen. It's just so fucking, it's fucked. So, type shit. I get so weighed, I don't even know what happens. I basically kind of throw up into a bag. I think I threw up on my lap, had to change my pants, and then I basically just passed out on the couch. I woke up and I was like, fuck. Like I had the rudest hangover. Walking home was like the walk of fucking shame, bro. Good morning, guys. This is the next day, just after the fight. Spoiler, about to expose the result, if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, Jake Paul won. He won by a split decision versus Nate Diaz, man. Nate Diaz is a dog, though, I can't lie. Put up such a good fight, but holy shit, dude. Jake Paul was composed. He looked professional. And dude got that fucking hook in at the end, right on the temple. Fucked him up. That was crazy. All right, my friends, we're just gonna go ahead and spark up a little, uh, Frozen Lemons Minecraft Torch CGI, you feel me? Hope you guys are, uh, maybe getting wake and baked with me right now. Cheers to the Shea family, bro. Jeez. Let's get lit. Let's reach the moon, light. It's my first time actually uh, sparking the strain up, so I will see how she fares, you know what I mean? Really excited right here. This batch of frozen lemons has never tested this high, or at least it'll, it, it hasn't tested this high in a very, very long time, so. I'm very curious to see how this, uh, how this fares. But yeah, did you guys watch the fight, man? That shit was crazy. Like, literally 10 round fight. Like, YouTube boxing is becoming literally like the mainstream boxing media. Like, it's insane, it's insane. The money is there, man. Bro, cheers my friends. Love every single one of you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed down below, man. If you guys wanna join the Shea family, man. <laughs> Follow me at the socials at the top, right up on IG, Snapchat, fucking Instagram and Twitter. Cheers my friends. Very earthy, musky, but there's definitely a lot of lemon. But there, there's something that leaves to want to be desired more. I desire a bit more flavor from this smoothness. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Let's let's see how it goes though. It's it's definitely a tightly packed joint, as you can see, guys. I'm gonna lie though. This strain definitely is about the effects. Ooh, it's not tasting too good. Eh. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Off the flavor, off the rip, guys, this is a hard pass, but we're gonna keep going. Um, it is resin ringing, like, I don't know. Let's see how that is. I'm just personally not a big fan of this flavor, honestly. I don't know, maybe some people might fuck with it, but I don't fuck, I'm not fucking with this. That's how she's looking right now. Cheers. Mmm. That lemon is coming through now, heavy. It's like a, it's like a lemon hay. Um, the ash is looking decent. The ring is looking decent. Man, I hope you guys are getting baked along with me right now, man. This is a fan fucking fantastic morning. Holy shit. Might play some Overwatch. Uh, 
probably edit the other videos because I'm not gonna lie, we got some bangers coming. Man, I fucking love you guys, man. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and supporting the channel for real, for real. At the end of the day, we're just out here trying to push a movement, trying to push a fucking higher elevation, higher self, trying energy, you feel me? The energy that you radiate and that you possess is the energy that you're gonna attract, my friends. Stay lit. Starting to taste better as we get deeper into this joint. I typically don't find that with joints. Typically I find that with the Minecraft CGI torch, flavor starts very pure, lip smacky almost, if it's the right strain. But then typically the flavor starts to dissipate as you get deeper into the shaft. Now halfway down the shaft, we're starting to notice the flavor is becoming a bit more potent, a bit more pungent. Interesting phenomenon here. Very interesting. But typically with joints or flour or anything you might fucking roll, flavor decreases as you get deeper. But no, this one kind of just starts to take flight as we kind of really break it in. It's interesting, man. Cheers to you guys, bro. Hope you guys are all fucking lit as shit right now, man. Good fucking morning, Canada in America and all of my friends from around the damn world. You could be out in Europe, Japan. Yo, if you're in Japan, like, cooking it up right now, you crazy. You're crazy. Real shit, though, it's kind of interesting. There's actually quite a few Japanese exchange students here in Canada. And they love to smoke, bro. They love this shit. Like, they love this shit. I, I can only imagine, like, you know, there is bud in Japan. It's just ultra hard to find. It's not going to be very good and it's going to be, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg basically. So when they come here, they can just buy some whatever here and it's going to be a miles time better. It's the perks, I guess, of uh, coming from a both place. What I mean by booth is not that Japanese or Japan is booth, but it's more they just have booth weed because it's so fucking illegal. Like you get like a lifetime sentence with possession or cons consumption of, of cannabis, it's insane. For smoking a plant, you can get put away for life. Like what in the world? Fire and plant, you can go to prison? Like it's crazy, it blows my mind, it blows my mind. Cheers, bro. Definitely baked right now. Bro, sativas in the morning do something different. You guys see the CGI right now in my hand? Crazy shit, crazy shit. Really trying to fight the YouTube algo right now. Bro, why TB hella hating on my videos? Like, YouTube be straight restricting shit, not letting shit slide. Like, I'm out here having to be super strategic with the way I play this game now, I think. I don't know. I don't know, man. At the end of the day, though, I'm really just having fun out here. Just shooting the shit, smoking it up, getting absolutely obliterated, man. And doing it with you. Man, that shit going on with Lizzo is fucking crazy. I'm not even trying to bring attention to some fuckery, but like... <sighs> Shoddy wild in Yo, drop it in the comments. Who did you guys have down for the fight if you were even watching the fight last night? Jake or Nate? Put it down in the comments, man, right now. Bro, cheers to the Shea family, man. Really fucking appreciate every single one of you guys fucking with the boy, man. If you guys aren't subbed, if you guys want to join the fam, join that shit down below. You feel me? Hit that button. Try to grow this shit. For real, we're trying to do some crazy shit too. We're gonna help the ante. How long of a time period do you guys feel is like an appropriate time to take a, a good tea break? No, I'm talking. Yo, my bad guys, fucking phone just died type shit. Holy crap, kinda lit right now, I'm not gonna lie. 
But yo, man, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, man. And we're gonna see you guys at the next one shortly. In just a few days, we're gonna be going right back to our regular upload schedule, man. So without further ado, man, peace to you guys. Peace to the Shea family, guys. Stay high, stay strong, stay elevated. And just remember to uh, hydrate every single motherfucking day. Plug.